morning. We just walked out here to the garden. Me, Cheyenne, you got to come out here and smell and see what's out here tonight, or was out here last night. And then we got Susie, and Susie is just pretty much watching Cheyenne, smelling what's going on. So anyway, back in the garden, hadn't looked at it in a while. Um, these are our mustards. We planted three rows of mustards. You can see they're doing really well. I've been taking these things and uh, I'll put up today, uh, I think it's a rumelade sauce is what it's called. And if I'm not pronouncing it right, well, I ain't from New Orleans. So anyway, maybe they're pronouncing it wrong and I've got it right. But anyway, what it is, it's just a uh, dip. I was going through a cookbook the other night and uh, Debbie and I were sitting there looking through it. and. Uh, you know, we're eating a lot of vegetables now, raw vegetables, and uh, because of the Debbie situation. But uh, real quick, uh, we went to the doctor uh, Monday, and you know, Deb has uh, got breast cancer. But anyway, uh, we're doing alternative treatments, and her blood test came back perfect again. So we don't know how much ground we're gaining, but we're not backing up. So as long as our blood work's coming in right, then our body's doing pretty much what it should be doing right now. So anyway, that's where we're at with that, and I thought that was just great news. But anyway, again, here's the mustards. We've got three rows, they're 100 foot long, and what I've been doing is we mix it in salads uh, with lettuce and spinach or whatever. But this uh, romelade sauce that I found, I told Dad, I said, I bet that is great on vegetables. and I. It's a New Orleans recipe, I'm almost positive, but they uh, use it on shrimp and uh, roast beef, I believe. But I got looking at the ingredients and I told Dave, I said, man, for dip, that would be great. So we tried it and it is, it's delicious. And again, I'll put that up for you guys today. But uh, the mustards, I've been taking them and rolling them up and then just folding them in half and dipping them in that sauce. And man, that is good, just straight raw mustard greens. And I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but I talked to a friend of ours last night. It's a good friend of mine's mother. And her daughter was there, Wendy. And Wendy was telling uh, Mrs. C to tell me that, uh, asked me if I'd ever had, uh, what was it? Cream of mustard soup. Cream of mustard green soup. And I've never had it. So Wendy's going to shoot the recipe to me. And uh, I tell you guys, as good as I love greens, I think it'd be delicious. So, but anyway, there's our, there's our mustards. You can see they're doing well. And uh, then we planted a row of uh, broccoli right next to that. And then we've got a row of cabbage right next to that. Then Dale asked me uh, a while back, he says, Doug, if you don't mind, I'd like to uh, plant some stuff too. So we had the garden area and this is all we're gonna do this winter. So. I told Dale, come on, so he's got a uh, half a row of cabbage, then behind that a half a row of uh, broccoli, and then he planted two rows of collards, and I think you guys can see them down through there. But anyway, and then there's the okra. But look at the blooms on it again. I mean, they're just loaded. So. Anyway, I thought I'd kind of planted them a little too late, but they're really beginning to come into their own. And I put up on our website the other day, I went to the uh, food room we have, of our canned goods and all, and uh, this was last week we had canned, or pickled, not canned, we pickled. Uh, we had 181 pints of okra. So it's been doing really, really well. So anyway, that's our okra. And uh, let's see, today is Thursday. Tuesday afternoon, Debbie and I picked, and yes, Wednesday morning yesterday, we canned, uh, pickled uh, 29 pints. Then we came out yesterday afternoon, I didn't think we'd have a whole lot, but I wanted to go ahead and get it off where it got big and tough, and uh, Dad gum, if we didn't go back yesterday evening, and we canned another 19 pints. So we had 181, and then plus whatever that is, 29 and 19, I guess 48 more, and then uh, today or tomorrow we'll have some more. But anyway, that's what we're doing, and real quick, I'm getting a little long-winded with this, but Debbie and I love fried okra, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do, and a lot of you guys may know this, this little trick to it. And Debbie always had problems with a little bit of her batter coming off. We'll put flour and cornmeal on it, and then we just put it in the pot and fry it, the skillet rather, and so, we were talking to a good friend of ours in Mississippi. Matter of fact, I call her Mississippi. Hey, Sandra, what's up? And uh, anyway, uh, 
Sandra gave us an idea and she said this is how they've been doing it and she said it works great. So what you guys do is cut your okra up, maybe half inch round circles, just go down the length of the okra like you normally do. And then you put your okra in a colander. And again, I'll put this up on the, on the uh, video too. But you uh, put it in a colander and you pour flour over it. And you roll that flour in that okra real good sitting in the colander and you walk off and leave it. We always floured it, turned right around, cornmealed it, and turned right around and put it in the skillet. And again, we had problems with our, our crust coming off. So Sanders said, what you do is put it in your flour, like I said, in the colander. You flip it around, you get the flour coating on all your okra, and then you walk off and leave it for 30 minutes. Just leave it. And the okra is already a little damp, so what it does, it actually forms like a paste. And you can, once you do it, you can really see what she's talking about. And it's almost like a glue on that okra. Then you come back, your okra is still in the colander after about 30 minutes, and you turn right around and uh, pour your cornmeal over it. And then you'll mix that in real well again and walk off and leave it again another 15, 20 minutes. And then at that point, go ahead and get your grease hot in your skillet and uh, just start putting your okra in and just, you know, just have one layer where it'll cook good and fast for you. And uh, it's actually excellent. So, like I said, we were using the cornmeal and the flour. We just were not letting it sit. But let me tell you, it really adheres to the okra then. And then when you finish up frying that, you got a good product. But Debbie and I, the reason we're pickling so much of this okra is, again, uh, her situation and we can't eat a lot of fried foods and uh, so anyway uh, we've just been pickling it because we both like it that way and uh, we can utilize our okra and I don't know how many jars now we've given away we've probably given away 60 or 70 jars of okra just to friends and family so anyway mom and dad are coming down this weekend and they'll get some mustard greens and they'll take a bunch of this okra home too so you guys take care I just want to show you the garden uh, look at here it's raining here this morning so we are actually, we've got a front coming through and we're supposed to get some rain probably the next couple, three hours. But I wanted to go ahead and see if I couldn't wet this dirt a little bit. And uh, you can see where we've tilled the garden and cleaned it up again. So we're just prepping for the rain and uh, getting that good nitrogen rain on it and that'll make it jump one more time. Well, listen, you guys take care and uh, uh, we appreciate you watching these videos. And if you'd like to read some of our uh, writings, we do a lot of recipes and home cooking and tell stories and just laugh and joke around a lot it's uh www.ridingoutherecession.com or you can link to us through the canada free press which is a great conservative website and uh, let me say hello this morning to judy and brian up in uh, canada as well been a lot of help to us a lot of good advice and uh just uh there for us when we need them so anyway listen you guys thanks again and y'all take care have a great day and god bless every one of you